Today we're gonna to run through a couple of quick tech tips on how you can quickly check and adjust your master cylinder and why it's important to do this not only when fitting a new master cylinder and a new slave cylinder, but also when you're actually fitting any clutch kit, you should be checking this sort of stuff. If this is done incorrectly, it can cause you a huge amount of headaches and it can easily lead to you misdiagnosing something that could be very simple adjustment. So underneath the dash here, we have two adjustments that we can make on this clutch pedal. The first one is the clutch master cylinder push rod here, which will actually adjust the preload onto the master cylinder and clutch pedal. The second one is actually the upper clutch pedal stop. And as you can see, when the clutch pedal comes back, it has a hard stop on that. The most important thing we need to note here is that we must have a degree of free play in that pedal there. If we have no free play, it's gonna cause us problems. As you can see, I can freely wriggle that push rod and there is no tension on it at all. Now I'm winding the push rod out and what this will do is actually take all of the free play out of the pedal. And now there's no free play at all, which is really bad. With no free play on that push rod, we are unable to push the slave cylinder piston back at all. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna cause the friction point to get increasingly closer to the driver and the clutch is gonna start to slip and prematurely wear. To ensure that we've got this adjusted correctly, we're gonna make sure that we have that push rod wound to the point where we've got a small degree of free play in there and we're gonna check that underneath the vehicle. The other adjustment you can make under the dash here with the pedal is the clutch upper stop. This will change the engagement point if you adjust it up or down. When you're making this adjustment, it's always important that you double check the free play in that push rod and you adjust it accordingly. Once you're done making all of your adjustments, make sure you lock up the lock nuts holding both the push rod and the upper stop, otherwise those rods can adjust through harmonics. Now that we're under the vehicle, we're gonna check that the pedal has been adjusted correctly by putting pressure on the clutch fork and making sure that the fluid can actually pass back up through the master cylinder and then back into the reservoir. By pushing on the fork, you can see the slave cylinder can push the fluid straight up to the master cylinder without an issue. 